Hello there, Mikhail speaking. First, we have the Samolot district or the plane district where Ukrainians had conducted counterattack. So this is the territory Russians were controlling before they were kicked out back to the streets of Karsunskova. They are still controlling this sector right here. If we zoom in slightly, we can see that basically it is this one building or four separate but connected and this building right here. The thing is that the Russians have superiority in night fighting equipment and will launch an assault in this sector when the night comes. The overall strategy in these sectors is as follows. For example, Russians are advancing here and there is a Ukrainian position in this building. Ukrainians are opening fire on the Russians. They retreat, call in a tank that drives in front and destroys whatever Ukrainian positions are located in the buildings. The video I showed you yesterday shows the entire destruction of this sector. So if you want to get a better understanding, you can watch that video. So that's why I think Russians will soon launch their own counter attack and will probably retake this sector once again. The Russians are interested in capturing this street as it leads to the Ivanivsky village. Then we go here, where once again Russians are attacking from the Korsunskova street in the general direction of this school, once again to reach this street from the other directions. Now to the stadium avant-garde. Some sources claim that Ukrainians are still holding this sectors right here and that the Russians had not captured it. But once again, we will have to wait for more confirmations. Here, Russians are attacking through Verkhny Park or Upper Park towards the auto station and along the Garbatova street towards the train station here. It has been reported that Ukrainians had counter-attacked Russian positions along these rail lines, but the Russians were able to withstand and still control this sector. Then we go to the north of Bakhmut, where fighting is reported near the school right here and in this general area. Now it has been reported that the Russians had captured the remaining part of the Rose Alley. They hadn't advanced beyond it as of right now, but as you can see the youth center still stands, so I would assume that this sector would be captured by the Russians fairly quickly. For a better understanding I will use Google Maps, we will drop here to see what is happening. So here is the Rose Alley and here is the youth center at question. So it would seem that the Russians had captured the entire sector here, everything beyond this road. They were attacking along the entire alleyway and as you can see the big amount of space they were supposed to pass before they can reach buildings and start fighting for it. But once again, with the cover of tanks, they were able to do that in three days. From here, we go to Hromova, where fighting is reported. Russians are continuously attacking from this force towards the village, but had not reached its outskirts. Then we go to the Bogdanivka. Situation there had not changed. Russians entrenched themselves within, within its outskirts and are repelling Ukrainian counterattacks. Some action was reported around Grigorivka. Russians had conducted limited offensive operation in its vicinity. Russians are tangled in heavy fighting in Arikhovo Vasilivka and along E40 highway. Then we go to the Siversk front, where Russians are attacking towards Spirne, Verkhokamyansky and Bilokharivka. Same goes with the Serebryansky forest. Now Russians are advancing here and it is reported that they had captured this intersection but how far exactly they came is unknown at this point. Fighting continues around Dibrova and Russians are conducting limited offensive operations towards Zarichne. They are also shelling Yampalivka, Terny, Novosadove, Nevelske and Makivka. From here we go to the Avdiivka. Village of Kamyanka, despite reports, is still not captured by the Russians. The Russians holding the rail lines that they had captured some time ago. A lot of fighting is reported in between Novokalinova and Krasnoharivka. Some Ukrainian sources are claiming that the Novokalinova is captured and the fighting is now happening in the village of Keramik. 
Russians had recently counter-attacked Ukrainian positions and were able to retake what Ukrainians had took away from them in the last few days. So this territory is now controlled by the Russians. Then we have Russians attacking from Apitne towards 9th quartal in Avdiivka as well as in Vadyane towards Severne and Tonenke. Russians are also attacking from Vadyane to the north of Bervamaisky and they are attacking from Pisky towards Bervamaisky itself along the E50 highway and other secondary roads and they are attacking towards Nivelsky. From here we go to Marinka. From here we go to Marinka where Russians have achieved some success. Recently they had taken this industrial zone here to the southwest of Avdiivka center. They're also successfully attacking here to the north of Avdiivka and in its center. The village of Pobeda still stands. Then we go here where Russians are attacking towards Dova Mikhailivka. And at last we have Vuglidar where Russians are fighting within the Dacha area as well as trying to reach the mines. The city of Vuglidar itself is being heavily shelled. There is interesting things going on in the Zaporozhye front. Ukrainians had become very active on this front, especially near Novodanilovka and Arikhiv. Both Russians and Ukrainians are reporting heavy shellings of these entire settlements and Ukrainians are conducting limited military operations in this area but without any success. So this is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing and commenting. Especially please don't forget to press that bell button. It will inform you immediately when I post a new video. So if you want to see my videos as fast as possible, please consider doing that. And also please consider supporting me financially on Patreon. Just know every cent, every dollar that you will give me will help me put food on my table and pay for rent and bills. I will have a link to my Patreon in the description and as well as in the pinned comment. Thank you in advance. As always, humanity calls me to condemn all violence against human beings. Have a good day and always remember, Russia will be free.